my cousin Martha, her niece, another cousin Mary, who is also a niece, and Stuart Deacon, who is a nephew-in-law. Um, Stuart's mom and Walter Woodward were brother and sister. And the Reverend Robin Osborne of Plymouth Trinity United Church in Sherbrooke, who will lead us in a ceremony. Friends, welcome to this occasion for saying goodbye to Elsie, aunt and friend. We gather to praise God and to celebrate the long life of Elsie. Her pain is over, and even in the midst of this loss, we remember Elsie with joy. And we remember too that the power of life and love is stronger than death and pain. In this time, may God grant us comfort, peace, and hope. May God grant us the grace to today say goodbye. Let us pray. Sacred Spirit, you are revealed to us in the sights, sounds, and smells of the creation, which surround us and give us life. All life depends on you. Help us now in this time of letting go to rely upon you anew. We entrust Elsie and her daughter Joanne to your care, Creator God. Bless us with the comfort of your presence as we reflect on the lessons of Elsie's life. Let the warmth of your love enfold us and give us peace. May these scriptures bring you comfort. God will ransom my soul from the power of death, for God receives me into new life. I heard a voice from heaven saying, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, says the Spirit. They rest from their labors, and their works follow them. I'm going to read a poem called, When I Die. When I die, if you need to weep, cry for your brother or sister walking down the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give me. I want to leave you something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known or loved. And if you cannot, give me away. At least let me live in your eyes and not in your mind. You can love me most by letting hands touch hands. Love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. In the Bible, we find people for millennia learned over and over again that if they put their trust in God, God's loyalty and dependability is unsurpassed. I'm going to sing you Martha's favorite um, song, briefly, um, <clears throat> which is a promise of God uh, to beautiful words. And it goes like this. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of my hand. As you all know, I suspect, early in Elsie's life, in Elsie's daughter's life, she discovered that you never know what will happen. Joanne diagnosed first, I think, with MS, but ultimately with lupus, from the time of 14. Joanne had much to contend with and her struggles shaped some of the direction of Elsie's life.
little Elsie was born, a fragile baby, a New Year's baby in the Roaring Twenties, apparently so fragile that she was named after the nurse that poured her through, uh, pulled her through her first few weeks. Bravo, Elsie the nurse. But we know that Elsie was stronger than that. After getting through that beginning, Elsie's stance towards life was laid back. So I hear. <laughs> Not a complainer. She dug into what needed to be done and she found lots of small joys and pleasures in life. She loved horses all of her life. She loved darts, watching the Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. But topmost pleasure, especially in her later life, was being chauffeured by Martha week after week with Connie to Newport's Bingo Palace. <laughs> there was nothing like that for those two ladies. And I wouldn't call this a light-hearted joy of Elsie's. In fact, it was a die-hard, utter passion for her and Connie. A passion which she could enjoy for five or six hours. <laughs> Non-stop. Known by all in Hatley, North Hatley, she took pride in her job as a town secretary helping to keep that lovely borough running smoothly as she met whatever problem came along with grace and calm. Just as in the end of her life, when she needed to enter the Grace Christian home, she found there some simple pleasures, crosswords, puzzle books, a good meal. She trusted life. She trusted God. She went with the flow. And may she find peace in the arms of God today, still with her daughter, her beloved daughter, Joanne. And now. That's into God's keeping. We commit Elsie and her daughter's ashes to the ground. Our sisters here departed. Loved ones, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Because we trust in God's great mercy by which we are all born anew into the next chapter, in peace forever with God. Let us pray. Gracious God, in our best moments we know nothing in death or life, in the world as it is or the world as it shall be. Nothing in all creation can separate us from your love. And so today we commend Elsie into your loving arms Enfold her in the arms of your mercy. Bless her in her dying and her rising again in you. Bless those whose hearts in memory of her are filled with sadness, that they too may know the hope of resurrection. For the sake of our brother Jesus, who showed us his trust in you was never in vain. Amen. Let us go now together as, as a kind of special community in peace and hope. May God be our company. May Christ Jesus walk before us and the Spirit surround us with a cloud of grace. Amen. Amen. Amen.